Hey everybody, on today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to walk you through a brand new feature that just came out this week from At Games for your BitPixel LED or original Pixelcade marquees. That's right guys, you can now have your leaderboard scores display on your marquees. Totally awesome! Chase those scores, let's take a look. Okay, guys, we are back, and huge shout-out to Pixelcade, Al Linky, the folks over at At Games, their engineers, for coming up with a super cool new update for these really awesome BitPixel LED marquees. A lot of us like to chase high scores or put high scores on the At Games online leaderboards, and now with the latest firmware update, you're able to do this with your BitPixel LED marquees. Obviously, in order for this to work, you do have to make sure you are on the latest firmware. you got to be on firmware 5.44.0 or higher, or this is not going to work. And of course, this quick tutorial showcase video assumes that you've already set up your Flash Drive X in the past. You already have it mounted. You'll notice here mine says format or unmount. Uh, that's because it's already mounted. Every time I turn on my machine, my Flash Drive X automatically mounts if it's plugged into the device. So again, this is assuming you've already set up your Flash Drive X Flash Drive, you used it in the past. If you don't know how to do that, definitely check out the BitPixel Pixelcade playlist on my channel, as well as all my other At Games videos where we walk you through this process time and time again. So of course you have your Flash Drive X mounted, you, uh, whatchamacallit, you have it plugged into the drive, and if you head over to Pixelcade X, you'll notice on the latest firmware we have some really cool updates on the Pixelcade X program. Now when you're uh, activating your Pixelcade marquee or your BitPixel marquee, they're the same thing, what's really cool is you can now have the top three leaderboard scores for each of one of the online leaderboard compatible games. You can have those scores scrolling across your marquee, as well as you have the ability to display your own score as well, especially if you're a score chaser or for bragging rights in your home. And you can also adjust how often the leaderboards will pull or sync data from the servers. As you can see here, you just hit the corresponding buttons on the menu, set it up for 10 minutes, an hour, a day. I'll just set it up for 10 minutes. And I, of course, have it. I do want to see the top three places, not just my own score. Have that turned on. And sure enough, I want to display my own score. So I have that turned on as well. And another super exciting thing about this is if you follow the instructions on the menu and you hit the home or menu button, you actually get to choose which of the uh, particular 200 plus games you want to see online leaderboards for displayed on your Pixelcade marquee. If you're not interested in seeing all the games, you don't have to check them. If you're only interested in chasing scores or seeing the scores for particular games, hell, you could just pick one game. So this is really, really cool. I love the flexibility here that I'm able to pick which games I want. I'm just going to go ahead and click a bunch just for show and tell for the video. And after you finish uh, going ahead and picking which ones you want, you just hit the menu home button again to save and get out of this. And if you are a brand new first time BitPixel LED user or just setting this up for the first time and still need to install Pixelcade X on your Flash Drive X Flash Drive, you could either pick those settings before or after installing this because I did test it both ways and it does save the settings. So you could either install the Pixelcade X update then select which leaderboard settings you want displayed, or you can go ahead and uh, pick the settings first, then install the Pixelcade software. Either one's going to get it done for you. Now, once you get it done and everything gets installed, which it takes a minute to install all the various files and things, you can go ahead and click on a launch application, provided you have your uh, BitPixel LED marquee plugged in appropriately on the USB ports on the At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade machine and get everything fired up. Now, if it doesn't automatically launch from this particular Pixelcade X menu underneath the settings, underneath the, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, App Store X, you can go ahead and click the A button. It'll bring up this menu. You can set your uh, Pixelcade to automatically launch at start. Hit the start button again to launch it, and it should fire up. You'll know it's launching if you see your BitPixel LED or Pixelcade marquee start doing the traditional blinking where it goes blink a couple of times as it begins to fire up. And then you'll get your welcome to Pixelcade X welcome message that you always get whenever this thing is activated. 
And remember, this only works with the online at games leaderboard compatible games, not all 300 or 350 games or 400 games included on your cabinet. So all you have to do is uh, head over to the leaderboard category and start scrolling through the games. And once you pick a game, for instance, like Asteroids, because I did want to see the leaderboards. So what will happen, of course, is the marquee will start to display if it's a static or animated marquee. And then it'll go ahead and display the leaderboards. It'll tell us who's number one, who's number two, and who's number three when it comes to uh, the high score. Look at that. Glenn's Retro Show. Number two. After it finishes displaying the top three, it'll then show your own score. And apparently on this particular arcade cabinet, I've never set a high score. So it'll say no record if you've never set a high score before. And then it'll go back to the marquee. And during gameplay, while you're in that game, it'll cycle. It'll have either the animated or static marquee. Then every few seconds, it'll switch over and show you the um, the leaderboard scores. As we head over to Burger Time, which I think I did a quick two or three minute run on Burger Time in the past on this particular cabinet, you'll notice it does give us once again our top three leaderboards. And this is really, really cool. Now, I don't know about Jay Lebowski. What is that, 999,000? Are you nuts? I'm wondering what's going on there with that score. Uh, someone named At Games Demo had the number two score. Number three, uh, this was a Mav 2K19. Shout out to you, buddy. And sure enough, look at me, my score, which puts me like 500 something uh, on the leaderboards, only 3,300. Now, of course, because I set this up to update every 10 minutes from their servers, if I go in and if I play leader, uh, Burger Time, and if I set a new high score, once that score is set and saved on their servers and come back 10 minutes later, my score will update as it scrolls across my marquee. Very, very cool feature. I think this is an awesome idea uh, by At Games, especially for those who are really interested in chasing or looking at leaderboard scores. You guys gotta let me know what you think about this update in the comments after the video below. For me personally, this is definitely a value add-on proposition when it comes to these BitPixel LED marquees. Can't wait to see what At Games and uh, the folks over at Pixelcade and the At Games engineers come up with next uh, to use with these animated uh, LED scoreboards. Can't wait to see what else gets added in the future. Gives me just one more reason, one more incentive to push myself to drop in some more quarters and see if I can top the high scores, which I'm doing right now. Wish me luck. Hopefully I can move up the leaderboards. Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up on the way out. Make sure you check out the BitPixel Pixel K playlist on my channel for everything you need to know about setting these devices up. And as always, guys, thank you for subscribing. Have a great day.